women of like Asian descent, they're always viewed by society as someone who's quiet and obedient and will just never rock the boat. And I think it's time, especially now, to realize that there's you know strong representation of Asian women and there's women out there who are doing things their way, creating their own rules, creating their own lifestyle. And that's one of the reasons why I created you know my podcast because. I just felt like there was no support system, especially for Asian women. It's, it, I couldn't find it. So if, if it's like if I couldn't find it, I had to create it. In the Philippines, if you're not fair skin, you're not considered beautiful. So there's like every you know, skin whitening cream or potion or whatever <laughs> under the sun. And it's 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 crazy what, how it can affect women here. I mean, when you're driving down the highway and there's like huge billboards of it saying like you know to be beautiful you must have fair skin like it can really hurt a woman's confidence. And in Asia, I mean, you know, women still, like, don't have that, that um, you know, advantage to do simple things. Like in China, you know, if you're married, like, you can't even own your own home. Like, you know, that the husband has total control over mm. that. Wow. So if ever they were to break up, it's like, you know, she's invested money into this property and mm-hmm. she can't even get it back. It's the way we were brought up. It's like, you're not allowed to make a mistake. You know, we're all defined by like numbers and letters and statuses. As, well, as you know, as young as going to school, it's like if you're an F, you're an idiot, you're a dummy, you're a failure, right? Yeah. And there's so many you know CEOs out there who flunk school and are you know billionaires, right? So mm-hmm. it really just brings it all comes down to the person of like to the person how much they want it, how much they're willing to go and get it and persevere and keep on going. So when I started the podcast, you know, for me it was just like. I never saw women being celebrated for their achievements, right? You go to these, like, marketing, you know, I used to go to these marketing events, and it's like, no offense, all I saw was, like, white guys on stage, like, teaching women how to be successful. And it's, like, yeah. it's great, but at the same time, it's, like, these women can't relate to men. We don't think the same way as men do, right? We're women. We are more emotional. We're more analytical. We, we you know, overanalyze everything. So we need to learn from – we need to see, you know, women who – have the success and how they were able to do it and what they were they had to deal with so that's, that's how the podcast came up you know just, uh, i've interviewed a woman who was born with no arms but is the first armless pilot you know she does everything with her wow. feet she wow. cooks she drives everything she flies a plane with her wow. feet what? it amazes me what women can do and their ability to do things and try my best to lead by example just learning to be more authentic and be myself um, and learn to walk side by side with people versus, you know, being in front or being behind. Um, to me, it's just like really helping people, right? Just helping people just be better, better version of themselves. Having, having money is great, but it's like there's a lot of people who have money and are still unhappy, right? There's a lot of people who live with less but are actually a lot happier, right? It's learning to be happy at your present moment no matter what happens, um, because like, we just feel like, oh, one day when I'm this, then I'll be happy. It's like, no, mm. be happy for today. Be grateful for today. Be grateful for everything that you've been blessed with. Right.